But at the moment the new screenshot is a merge request, not yet in main. Huh? So, Coco, I won't have the new shell screenshot in Gilm 42? Most maybe yes, but I can't show everything to you just yet. Even so, will the new screenshot be good for video game streaming? No Chino. It is primarily made for taking quick clips and screenshots for sharing on socials and opening bug reports. It's not for your gaming Twitch. Oh Chino, it is still an upgrade. Let me show you. So, we can press print screen, or we can rebind the shortcut if we want. And then we're getting the new screenshot that gives us two choices. Screencast or screenshot. We also have a rectangle selector we can resize and move around. Or we can select the full screen, or select a single window. And one more thing is that in the case of taking a video, we'll also get an indicator on the top panel together with a stop option. In reality, it is an already existing functionality with an improved UI, plus some additional work on Window Manager backend. If all those are an upgrade, then why the YouTube title says the drawbacks of the new shell screenshot? Huh? How Chino knows the movie title before the upload? I'm close friend with the director, now will you tell me girl? Okay Chino! But first we need to go back to the beginning. So, a strong design trait of GNOME shell is the minimalism, and I don't mean the miss of certain features. Although that is a thing too, but it's rarely by design and mainly happens from the lack of developers, and most important from the concerns how GNOME team can maintain newly introduced features in a long time and with an acceptable quality. I mean, we don't want to become KDE, do we? Where for every 10 things they add, 2 years later 5 of them will be low maintained at the very best, if not broken and annoying. Whoa! Come on Chino-chan! Everyone knows that's true. I think that's the best moment for someone to feed the YouTube AI. Anywho, to give you an example of no minimalism, think of this advanced weather widget that's something people are asking from time to time. And of course Plasma users troll us about, because of their super powerful widgets. But this is all about how GNOME design interaction really works. You see, instead of having a complex shell component, GNOME is giving us something little to begin with and then it encourages the use of full applications, like this weather app, if people need more. This technique keeps shell interface to a minimal design, and at the same time provides people to the best user experience only a normal app can deliver, impossible for a shell component. But there are also the times that GNOME abuses this approach. For example when forces people to open settings just for switching audio output. But design aside, there are two more reasons for this method of working. So. Unlikely Plasma and their fancy QML, GNOME Shell uses a very low 3D engine to draw its various components, which explains why we can't see really great stuff. Hmm? I guess everyone remembers this very ambitious initiative to rewrite Shell in GTK4, right? Most probably that's not gonna happen. Or it will happen in a different desktop anyway. And then, there is one more thing to always remember, Shell interface runs in a single process which most of the times is a great benefit for events-driven programming, like UIs. But that also means if a component crashes, the full shell will crash. It's not like Plasma that panel alone might crash and everything else will keep running. So GNOME developers should be extra careful with their code, and you know what else? It may feel that shell crashes more than Plasma, when in reality Plasma crashes 100 times more, but there aren't much of consequences, so it is mostly okay. Ho oh, Chino, now you took notes of all those, we are ready to move on to this movie main event. Hmm. If we go to GNOME Initiative 26, that tracks all the progress of GTK4 ports, and scroll a little bit down, we'll find the screenshot tool in the section of Not Needed. But let's investigate a bit more. So, Alan, which is GNOME's leader designer, initially proposed a support screenshot app to GTK4. But Alex, which is the lead developer of Adwaita and does 1 million things more, he says that screenshot app will most probably go away in the favor of shell screenshot. And then, Alan agrees that perhaps GNOME doesn't need in such app anymore, 
which is kinda a troublesome thought, but not completely wrong. Coco, are you trying to confuse me? Most certainly not. Let me explain maybe? Hmm. So Chino, while the new shell screenshot is super nice, for the reasons I told you before I don't believe it will get many features, and it is already missing a delay which is much needed. Hence I'm a bit worried that GNOME is about to drop the app, instead of invest more to it and make it much more powerful. Hey Coco, there's nothing to be worried about, because of the newest GNOME application model. Huh? What's the newest GNOME application model? The newest GNOME application model requires GNOME developers not doing apps anymore. Community does everything now and community will do the best screenshot app of all times.